It's time to play a game. The game is to see if I can take a series and set of images from my own portfolio that are very portrait heavy and see if AI can beat me, do better than me, retouch better. I see all these videos on TikTok and even YouTube with people using this regenerative filter to get rid of things, get rid of people, get rid of backgrounds, get rid of curbs extend that edges they're not the best photos they're not the highest level you don't see martin scholler platon steven mizell annie Leibowitz, any of these people using this tool so let's go in with some of my favorite images some images i think would work well and we'll see how well ai does and i'm keeping score if ai wins i don't know what i'll do maybe i'll become my wife's assistant maybe i'll just become my wife's personal photographer who knows let's jump into it basic wedding image shot from a few years ago i'm just gonna see if i can get rid of this stuff and it works as well as everyone says remove people and holy shit that did a great job that's mental completely different huh pretty cool though i mean uh you can see the grain isn't the best i'm gonna let it slide we're gonna try other ones without the grain but for now i'm just gonna let this slide because the grain is actually pretty problematic probably just paste this away which is much easier than cutting out all these people this would save me a lot of time now let's try this one remove car damn especially for this kind of client the fence is mad weird this is mad weird. I would probably even copy this and put it behind him so it didn't look so weird. Again, look at that grain issue. You can almost see it's a perfect box. I wonder if I feathered if it would look better. If I was doing this for a real job, I would do it before the grain. But I mean, holy moly, that's a huge difference. All right, but that's what we've seen all through TikTok and YouTube. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. I have this crazy shadow here and I want to just extend this pillow. And this took a tremendous amount of work. You can see this was about one, two, three, ten layers. Kind of painted in to get rid of that shadow so it looks like the sun was low enough that the shadow just kind of went all the way across the boat. And now let's see what this does by itself. I'm just gonna take this lasso brush and draw around her cause I don't want the shadow in there. I'm not gonna give it any prompts. I'm also gonna invert this layer, shift command I, and just do fill and see what happens. Whoa, absolutely wild. This is what it does without me asking it to. <laughs> that is crazy. Let's try it again. Let's just try this cushion. Violated user guidelines. Very interesting. I wonder what guidelines. So let me help it out. Remove shadow. Interesting. It gave it like a cool edge to it. Eh, kind of weird. Who did better? That or me? There's everything. Turn this off. And here are the generative ones. Still pretty cool, but I think I win. It's 1-1. One, one. Here, are, this one is cool. Let's just say you wanted a square crop. This is what I really wanted to test it on is like this on a portrait with, with skin. And now going, so what you do is select as much as I can. Shift Command I. So I'm really just selecting these ones and then generative fill. I'm not even gonna do anything here. Just let's see what they can do. That's pretty good. Whoa, the hair is really good. I don't even care that that's low res, your eyes aren't there. Damn, that's AI too. Corey won. Um, I already masked him out and swapped this guy in here. If you look at one of my previous videos, I had to go to Google, find a sky, make sure I was in a large image, save the image, bring it over, remask him out. Now let's see if I can do it. Again, under the grain this time. Select subject. Damn, that was good. Now I'm gonna really be seeing what happens around the hair here. Make the background a sky. I just feel like I'm talking to a child when I do it, but things smarter than I am. Ooh, that looks weird as hell. That also looks strange as hell. I'm gonna give you a thumbs down, AI. What if I reduce the opacity? I don't know, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I think mine's better. Yeah, mine's way better. So let me try one more prompt. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a second shot there. Artificial intelligence. 
fill with very cloudy sky. It's gonna be these variations. Weird, super moody. It's pretty good though. That mask is good. They mess with the hair. That mask is great. Scary. It's good. But I think mine's better. You look at the details, I think mine's better. I could fix this mask, but I like that there's a bit of a haze to it. I like that you can see his curls a little bit. Like, you can actually see a defined curl there. I don't like what it did here, but I can mask that out. That round shape. There's still some work to it. But I gotta tell you, I get to choose my clouds. I get to art direct my clouds. So, uh, I'm going 2-2 two, two here. I gotta make a note, I'm forgetting the score. 2-2, two, two. tie game, tie game. All right, this one, you can see uh, I did in a few steps. But you can see there's a lot of crap going on here. You can see how I extended it, extended it. So I cleaned it. I cleaned this up quite a bit. Man, this took a long time too. Let's see what it can do. I really just like this. Except I'm also the edge of the frame. Pretty good. Kinda not really though. Okay, let me try it again. Not looking good for you, AI. Select subject. Ugh, that cutout makes me sad. Make background clean. Yeah. Replace it with a forest. Damn. Look at his feet. He's dancing, dude. All he does like to move his feet, but he likes to move his knees as well. Three, two for the human. So this one's wild. I adjusted the colors so they'd match. It's a whole, a whole thing. The same kind of cutouts around the hair too. But if I go to the before image, you can see that there is a little piece of that that I had to fix and like stretch it up, pull it over and make that line very nice and smooth. But if I go back to this, you can see that there's an issue here. Let's see if this can fix the line. I'll start easy. Do boobs violate community guidelines? Wild. I don't think man boobs would. Remove under seam. I think we see an issue here. Oh, it worked. I only did one of one. Whoa, that's good. Damn, that's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. I don't know how to score this because that little wrap thing it does under there is very nice. A little wrap. If you compare it to mine, I pushed mine right up. I don't know how you want to score that one, but it didn't work with the seam. I think I won that one. I don't know, I think I... Mm. What do I do here? Okay, final verdict. I think theirs looks slightly better. A little bit more natural, a little bit more real, especially if I went in there and tweaked it. So I do think they won, but I tried to get rid of the seam a few times and it didn't work. So on a technicality, we'll call that one a wash. Whoever you think won though, leave a comment. Leave a comment. All right, after six, it's three, two. One was a wash, let's keep going. So here I have this image, beautifully clean image, not a flyaway in sight, except here and here. So take all this away, you can see lots of flyaways. So let's see what happens when I take this whole thing and just say, remove flyaways. I swear if this works, I'm gonna be so sad. Would I be sad or would I be happy? I don't know. If this works perfectly, I don't know how this will change my life, but it will change my life. Whoa. Completely switched her earring. Did it mess with her face? Oh, it messed with her face. She looks like a completely different person. Holy. I mean, you could paint this back. What else we got? Wild. Okay, let's try it. one more. But I smell a victory. Gosh. Look how clean it made it. If there's just a way to hone this. Not quite. Again, I've only done two prompts, but let's try this side. I'm gonna use the lasso tool and then get rid of the flyaways like that. Remove flyaways. What do we got? 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 Oh, that's pretty good. That is very good. Ooh, that earring switch is cool. It could be the same earring. Whose is better? I mean, we're just looking at this side. I like my earring better. I guess it wasn't the same earring and she would have known. Man, it fooled me. Wouldn't have fooled the stylist. Four, two. Takes the lead. I'm kind of bummed. I really did want this to work. I wanted my retouching to be way easier, at least with the grunt work. So what did I do here? Let's see before I even do this. Can I just go make vertical lines straight? Because this is kind of cool. 
Well, it did. Definitely did. I definitely win. Five deuce. Yeah, what did I want to do with this one? These are another extender. I wanted to see how well it would do with puffer jackets. Would it keep it on white background? I'm actually just giving them an easy one. I'm not going to tell it what to do. It's pr pretty good. That's pretty good. And the grain would be fine if I copied it over. I don't know what this is. I could smooth that out. It's pretty good. Son of a bitch. I'm still going to give it to you. 5-3. All right, this is a sneaky one. This one uh, was with g -Eazy, And this is a true going to be a true generative fill. Generative. Gener generative. So you can see what I did here was extend the jacket. Yeah, so I actually took two chunks of the jacket and went boom, boom, and then added my own shape to it to make them look kind of nicer. But let's see if I can add a nice big jacket in here. Black coat in wind. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool you get rid of this. I'm gonna try it again. Add flapping coat tails. Feel good about this one. Whoa, that's thin. That's kind of cool too, but it's not in theme with the jacket, you know? Make black trench coat laps. Perfect, that's perfect. I think I won that one. That's pretty badass. You can see it's actually quite a big difference, but what a difference that made. And these are actual photos. I'm just combining photos together. I'm just not making something out of nothing. This one was originally like this, and I wanted to extend the sides. Just generative fill. Let's see if it can extend the sides. Because if you go to my website, shameless plug, and you click portfolio, here it is as a wide that I extended myself. That's pretty good, especially on this side. I'll try one more time. Maybe this is what caused the line. Generative fill. Generate with that feather. If this doesn't work, I win. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's really good. That's really, really good. Now, you can see that the noise on this image, because this was actually a very dark image. You see where this is here. And if I turn the grain back on, you can see it's negligible. I don't know if you would notice it if I zoomed out. But just do this. Where's the line? All right, so from a distance, it's hard to tell. I know that the grain should be all the way across, but it is pretty hard to tell. This one might be a wash too. Although I do like the symmetrical wave. A lot of people give me flack for the symmetrical wave, but I mean, this is stylized reality. It's also my photography, so right off. A lot of people I feel like would prefer to have that instead. I wouldn't, I like the symmetry, I win. Although if we go all the way out, I don't stand a chance in hell. There's no way I could duplicate that. Well, call that a wash. I like mine better, more control, but on the wide, I don't stand a chance. Wash. Okay, this one's a very interesting one. I want to get rid of that. As you can see, I got rid of it. So if I go like this, can I remove mountain from sky? Question mark? Whoa, it made her into a black woman and a, then a white woman. And then a very culturally inappropriate, <laughs> insensitive person of color wild but it did get rid of it so what i could do is keep it on delete the mask and then i would still have to paint it in i'd still have to paint it in so it doesn't quite fix it for me it still makes me do that whoa that was crazy though that is an absurdist so i definitely won that one that is crazy Content aware, huh? Was not aware on that one. 7-3 after 12. Two hour push. So let's just see how this generative fill works. I'm really interested because I want to know how it works with the grain. Oh, that's really good. I mean, I could fix that line. It even got the grain in here. So you turn these off. That's great. Mine's better. That's pretty good. Even the grain in here is not bad. Ooh, that's bad. I don't know how you would do that. I mean, you could copy and paste it, but it doesn't look good. So it's 8-3. So this one, I really just wanted to see if I could get rid of this sunspot. I mean, I love it, but I'm gonna toss a nice easy one up there for 
our friend Allen Iverson or AI. Okay, so this is where it excels on stupid remedial tasks. You can even choose your textures. Damn, that's good. Eight, four. Damn, that was good. Uh, this one's pretty crazy because you can see in the original image and it felt, I already feel like it's gonna beat me on this one. Whoa, it made it so much better. Damn. Who do you think won that one? Oh my God, mine looks bad compared to that. Oh my God, so much better. That's only the first one. Whoa, mine looks bad in comparison. Whoa. Damn. If this was fighting, that'd be a 10-8 round. I got dusted. Yeah, that one's not as good. Not as good. Still better than my original, I think. But that first one, zinger. That's so sick. Get the sun streaks going through there. Makes it look more real and, and, and surreal at the same time. More cinematic and more legit. Okay, 8-5. Okay, this one I wanted to see how it extends to the sides. I wanted to see what makes Manhattan bigger and lower. So let's see what we got here. Cool, it looks like it's on the shoreline. It's not, this is definitely uh, Bushwick looking into Williamsburg. You can see the Kajusko Bridge over here. But, whoa, pretty cool. It makes it look like a dope old painting and it didn't really remake any buildings. It's very cool. This gets very controversial because if you're selling this as fine art and letting AI generate that, I feel like I could do some things to make the grain, but it'd be a lot of work. Um, I'm gonna call this one a wash too. Nobody won. I took my photograph and made it into a AI painting. Eight five. Okay, this one, I'm really hitting it with grain, but I wanted to see how it would extend a body. I feel like because the grain's so bad that it won't win this. Ooh, guidelines. You're breaking it with the guidelines. I wonder if you can do this. I guess you can't make bums and stuff. I guess you can't mess with the female figure. Whoa, it's like a fish. Oh, it gave me one. Well, it didn't win that one, but I didn't win either because I forgot to shoot the sides. I'll do another wash. So what we have here is another g -Eazy image. If I take all the layers off, you can see that this was an issue. So for me to replace this was a real bitch. So let's see if it can do it better than me because those circles up there were just a pain in the ass. Boom. This probably took me like two hours to make sure all those dots were aligned. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, you can see that line, but let's try something. Let's just try and lift it with a little curve along the edge. Oh, that actually fixed it a lot. And just powder puff it in along the edge. It is fixing that line. The only part that really offends me is right there. And I wonder if I could actually make it smoother. I'm only experimenting longer with this just because of how long it took me in real life to, to do it. This one's a bit of a problem, but Depends who you're doing this for. You do a wedding portrait for a client, AI wins. Cause that took four seconds. And now I can go do some activities for an hour and 55 minutes while the old me catches up. But, but if this is for a magazine or a high-end client like g -Eazy, then I win. Which brings the final total nine to six. Final thoughts are, AI is great. Working for wedding images, getting people out of the shot, shooting your parents, you know, prosumer to amateur. This is one of the coolest things ever and it lets you mess around. You can have total freedom and creativity to do whatever you want. But when it comes down to it at the end of the day, I win.